Hi guys, welcome back to XNU. Today I'm going to share my review on the Swatch collaboration with 007, specifically on Her Majesty's Secret Service watch. A brief history on Swatch before we dive in. Back in the 1970s, the Swiss were undergoing the Quartz Crisis. This is where most Swiss brands go bankrupt due to the affordability and accessibility of digital Quartz watches from the East. Swatch began development in the early 1980s, intended to recapture entry-level market share lost by Swiss manufacturers during the Quartz Crisis and to repopularize analog watches. With an aggressive marketing campaign and a relatively cheap price for a Swiss-made watch, it gained wide popularity. Fast forward 30 odd years, the Swatch Group is the largest watchmaking company in the world, owning huge brand names such as Longines, Blancpain, and Omega. Now, let's dive into the review. So the Swatch comes with a white box like this, with its reference number SUO Z. 715 okay and yeah swatch you open this to reveal Ta-da! oops you reveal the box one is the warranty okay swatch warranty and the manual okay let's set that aside now if you see this box, the watch comes in a very cool packaging, I would say, that looks just like a VCR cassette. For those of you that did not have the chance to see one before, uh, these are huge cassettes that you can play your favorite movies back in the 90s. Right? VCR stands for Video Cassette Recorder, and this is the packaging. You can see the 007 logo all around the packaging and of course the Swatch logo. So at the side, you can see On Her Majesty's Secret Service and the 2020 James Bond collection. And that's the Swatch logo again. So when you pull the cassette out, ta-da, it reveals the sort of like cassette recording, okay? And on here you can see far up, far out, far more. James Bond 007 is back. This is the movie poster and the tagline of the film. You can see here the film was directed by Albert Al Bracoli and Harry Saltzman. James Bond 007 on Her Majesty's Secret Service. That's the name of the movie. Okay, so this was the only movie played by George Lazenby. Lazenby, I don't know. Okay, and he killed it. It's a nice movie. I've seen it and it's a really good movie. Okay, and you can see the watch from these sides here. Okay, now let's get to the watch. Just pull this open. And uh, it reveals the watch. Okay, so you have some uh, swatch sticker here. Then we take this out. There we go. Swatch. Okay. So let's keep this nice packaging first to the side. Let's focus on the watch. So the watch is your typical uh, Swatch watch, plasticky, okay, plastic watch. But I have to say the straps are rubber and it's very soft. It's very comfortable rubber. You can see it's very easily moldable to your hand. It's not this. Uh, hard rubber but it's very soft and the buckle is uh, plastic and you have the swatch logo right here then you have the 007 logo on the strap holder it's quite cool yeah you have the 007 logo with the gun there and of course the strap is written by the tagline of the film far up far out far more three lines writing is in uh, green red and black and blue then you can see the dial i can show you the dial here i like the acrylic crystal here just goes well with this watch this watch watch plastic and acrylic 
and you can see the hour hand is green and the minute hand is red we don't have a second hand so it sh shows a very clean dial layout and you have the swatch logo in it, swatch swiss okay. patented water resistant I wouldn't bring this into the water though. I mean, like swimming. I rather I just bring it maybe shower. You can shower with it. Water resistant. ETA logo here. Small ETA logo. Since watch owns ETA, and it's Swiss made. It's a very cheap Swiss made. I got it for one hundred and forty-five dollars. Okay, and Swatch will always uh, change your battery. So don't you worry. Uh, as long as you have a Swatch watch, you can change the battery lifetime at the shop. So the underside of the strap is black, very nice, so it doesn't get dirty easily. Okay, they have a small crown and yeah, and the dial layout, the dial is uh, black in the middle with this uh, white, continuous white uh, writing and white layout, like it, it, just, it just fits the watch, you see, it continues inside. And it just goes through. Quite nice. Alright, so now I'll show you the special thing about this watch. Why it's a James Bond watch. And it's because of this. You can see the date as it changes to the uh, the seventh every time, like the seventh of the month or the seventeenth of the month or the twenty-seventh of the month, you can see this happen. So you see Saturday and of course there you go. Look at that, 007. Makes you feel like James Bond, no? <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's why I bought this watch, because it's very different from the other watches, whereby they have the date keep changing at 007 at the 7th, 17th, and 27th of the month. So, you have this cool complication. Which is which you can't find in any other watch. Take note that this one is good for mid-sized wrists. You have a forty-five diameter, uh, forty-five millimeter lug to lug, and it can fit most wrists. Then you have the forty-one millimeter diameter, and the thickness is ten millimeters up to the crystal, so it's very thin. It's just nice. So I'll show you what it looks like on my wrist. So my wrist is uh, six and a quarter inches. It's about 15 centimeters in circumference and 45 millimeters on the top. So just nice, just nice. Look at that. So I feel that uh, it's quite nice. So I wear this on weekends when I just want to casual, go casual outside. This is just a really good watch on the weekends. You can see that. Yeah, so that's the review of the Swatch on Her Majesty's Secret Service watch. Going 007 out. Thank you for watching the review of this watch. So I'll summarize the three good things about this watch and also the three bad things. But before that, please like the video and also do subscribe to X and Young if you like videos like this. So, back to the watch. So the first good thing about the watch is that it's very comfortable. Its rubber strap makes it easily hugs the wrist. And then the second good thing is it doesn't have a second hand if you notice. It's good as a weekend watch because you don't want the second hand to show the movement of time very fast. You want to make time moves a bit slower during the weekends because you want to relax so that's why i like it like to wear this as a weekend watch as opposed to my everyday diver watch where you have the ticking second hand which shows the movement of time so you feel that time is going by very fast but if you see this it only has the hour and the minute hand so it shows that time moves pretty slow so it's a very calming and relaxing watch to wear on the weekends and finally uh, it's 007 date complication it just evokes that James Bond feeling and makes me very very happy so the three bad things of course one it's a 
plastic so you can say it's a bad thing or a good thing because it's very light but plastic of course doesn't last so long and the second thing is the acrylic crystal bad thing is it scratches easily but then you can buff it out with poly watch and finally the buckle is plastic so this one i think it easily breaks but other than that it'll be it'll be okay it's only 30 meter water resistance but uh, i don't think i would use this in the water so much so i think it's not really a bad thing for me i hope you guys enjoy the review and enjoy the video and do subscribe to action young it will really help our channel so that's all guys thank you and hope you guys enjoy the new 25th James Bond movie, No Time to Die. Take care.